Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in my Fandiato moments and I think just so so pretty. By the way, I did order some mushroom compost because I want to fill up the garden bed for my mother. But anyway, look at this nose and um, I already filmed the rose review video of this variety for you. So I think I actually I don't know when I'm gonna post it on I, because I got a lot of other video they line up now. So I just thought I go out here, give you a very quick, quick look of my beautiful, beautiful roses. Anyway, this one I don't know about the variety of this because I was given the rooted cutting a few years ago. Beautiful though, those beautiful. Some the roses over there, though, are uh, Leonardo Vinci. Uh, I think this year they got a, quite a bit of damage by the trip, so I do see the bloom not as big like some other years. Like, like last year, they got very big blooms, and the blooms was looking very, very good, you know, not like high seed color. You see that damage there? This one. Examples, this one's okay, but still got damage, you know. But anyway, some of the roses they doesn't seem got near damage much by the tree. Example, this guy, the one I just show you, you in the front here. Look at this, so pretty, and no surrender as well. Look at that, so so pretty. And when they only just open, they got the deeper red like this. Okay, come over here. I want to show you this. The Endeavor. David Otten's rose. And last year, I did the rose review video for you already. So if you like to watch that video, you just go to the rose video playlist, uh, play, uh, playlist and you can see all the rose, uh, um, you know, video in there. And so far, that DSI, I have disappointed me this year. I haven't got a very proper plume yet, you know. A few plumes the other day, but all got burned. Okay, and come over here another, the Endeavor. So, so pretty. Look at those plumes. Okay, come on this way. Now, I just, this is Mother Love Rose. It's they fading away now. Again, got them by the strips. But anyway, the um what is this one? Oh, what the black caviar. Again, I did film a rose review video for you not long ago. So you will see that in the future. I don't know when, but I just think that's so 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 beautiful. And I just you know I don't want you guys miss this moment. Look at that, so so pretty. So I got three three dark designs. One, two, and another one, the little one over there. Look at that, so, so pretty. And look at the, the underneath of the, of the petal. You see the outer side of the petal? Very deep red color. And come over here. I got, I think this one, afternoon delight. I'm not sure. I will give them two bushes few years ago and the lady she got quite a bunch of them and she kind of divide to several people who are interested you know and again drew the obscure look at this so so pretty and i planted it kind of under the tree uh this is the apricot blossom tree actually quite big and i do need to prune it actually but anyway and the tree is underneath it and kind of shade it you know in the hot afternoon sun so the bloom lasts much longer and this variety they don't seem mild but the shade much you know they do quite, uh, it's that receive quite a bit of sun but a lot of flying back here and this variety i do have to side control it because it tends to go quite large you know and the sand is so beautiful this one doesn't seem damaged much by the trip even though this one Look at it on the top. I do see two little trip, three little trips on the top there, but look beautiful though. Hmm. Hmm. The scent so beautiful. Okay, and again, uh, what is it? The uh, Fuji Parfuma, and I this rose review video for you a few I don't know uh, a week ago, 
and um, I just noticed that uh, this year I don't have all the like the coral color. I got more pink color actually. I think some other year I got this kind of color. Example actually, but this year they turned into more pink pink color. You know, I do have a this color nice. Um, this one now, but uh, the day that I filmed the video, it turned to more nice light pink color actually. But actually, it got beautiful kind of pink coral-ish color. Yeah, I don't know why. Example like this. I love, love the color like this one, you know. But not that cute kind of pink. This one already fade. And I'm sure maybe got sunburn or damn bit by the trip as well. But personally, I prefer the coral color. Okay. Anyway, I'll come back here. I got beautiful girl. Uh, I planted in this area last year. And as bare rooted, beautiful girl this year doesn't do it as well. I think it got damaged by the trip. The bloom uh, aren't large. Few pests in there though. I don't know what they are, but a few pests in there. I do I think I own those flying but here got damaged by the trips. I will come out to detect all of them. Okay the guys, I think that is let's give you the quick look of my garden over there. So, so pretty. Anyway, I got three fragile uh, plants or bush I planted in this area uh, next to my neighbor, neighbor border over here. And I try uh, to prune it into the single stem. Like become, now it's become a lollipop or standard tree actually. Look at it. And this is going to be the third year. And last year I did have some fruit as well. But this year I have more, more fruit. Oh, at the, at the moment, I can see you know, a lot of flower actually. A lot of flower. Flowering, but actually, it will open very soon. But a lot, lot. And on this side as well, another tree on this side. You can see that quite a lot of flower, flowering, but. And this one, I did have to move it because this one uh, is very close to the to one of my roses so at the end i thought that maybe i move into this spot so i think it could be could be good with three 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 of them together in this row you know and after that i got the roses from the outer side all right guys i think that is for the video today i hope that you enjoy a quick look around my front yard this is only one color of my yard uh, of my front yard and i think just Beautiful. I rarely show you this area because they, are, you know, mostly they are roses and they only just bloom now, you know, from early summer to late autumn. That's all. Uh, and I do have some plants few in there, example the like day lily or the kite lily and foxglass, but they all fade now. I'm going to get ahead and pull them out because when they self seeded, that means. They wouldn't be everywhere, you know, that could be too much. I keep some of, you know, of the stem or the seed left, you know, for them to sell seed themselves. But I will mostly I try to pull most of them out. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next next video very, very soon. Look at it, on the roses over there. If I can, you know, room zoom in for you like this. You can see further away over there and you can see that my grapevine i'm sorry very my grapevine very far away there all right guys thank you see you in the next video